can you comment on the social media abuse of uh, Simone Biles and Naomi Osaka? Uh, and what is the IOC doing to support athletes? Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Um, well, I think over the last couple of days, we've heard um, a few athletes have, have gone off uh, social media. Uh, personally, I went off social media last year uh, because as nice and as supportive as some people can be, the, the negative uh, comments, even if they are the, the fewest comments, can, can be really hurtful to athletes. Um, so it's sad to, to see that that's uh, continuing. But in terms of what the, the IOC and the Commission are doing, we obviously have our 24-hour hotline. We have a safeguarding officer within the village. Um, as I said, we also have the opportunity for athletes to reach uh, out uh, to the, uh, through the hotline to uh, experts uh, from around the world. Uh, and um, it's available in 70 languages. Um, and again, that uh, free counseling of six sessions, six free sessions um, of counseling and support for athletes um, up to three months after the games is also being provided. Uh, as a commission, we've also had some um, walkthroughs with our safeguarding uh, liaison and officer to, to sort of help us better understand when athletes uh, come to us. Uh, the support that they would need and a step-by-step -step, uh, on how to help that athlete uh, refer them uh, to the best person around them to get extra support. Um, so as a commission, we're always uh, fully open and, and engaged. Um, we have not had anyone uh, come up to us specifically during this Games. It's been through uh, other representatives, other athlete representatives that we've uh, had contact and we're just giving them the support they need in order to support their athletes that are going through those those times. Thank you, Kirsty. Yeah, I think Graham. Will